I think virtual reality is, is everywhere and uh, we are even showcasing some parts of virtual reality by smart parking solutions. So I think virtual reality can help us to find the very fast uh, a valid parking spot for us. Um, it, it can help us to steer us through traffic. So I think yes, virtual reality will be will be a big part of, of, of automotive in the future. I think virtual reality to get, could help to really make um, navigation foolproof. So you absolutely know that that's the left turning that you need to take, and that. In in that way also minimize driver distraction in terms of trying to interpret what's going on in the screen. So I think that can be a lot more user friendly. Uh, there are a few cars that have been sold that have head up displays and, and add things to the view already and I think they're, they're going to just become widespread so you'll have uh, things that at night show you what's going on, show you heat maps of the, so you can see animals and people ahead. I think all of that's going to come quite remarkably soon. Uh, I think it will come mainly with the autonomous drive. There will be some new use case uh, like virtual re reality. You will have also more and more displays in the car. Uh, it will not be uh, only uh, somewhere you drive, it will be somewhere you uh, you also uh, enjoy, uh, you will have more uh, media content and, uh, and virtuality will uh, for sure uh, be part of it. I, I think it will be a, a while before VR enters the vehicle because it's, I mean, if you think touching the screen is a distraction, well VR is a complete distraction from reality, even if you do augmented. We already have virtual reality technology in development for a mechanical engineering team where they're able to take the CAD data of things like motors and generators and batteries and manipulate it inside an Oculus Rift or inside a Vive. From that point of view, from the uh, engineering point of view, it's going to become an increasingly important technology, I feel. You just uh, push a button and you get set environment what you like to have. I mean, maybe you are driving in a very cold area, snow, rainy, and you get a little bit depressed, so you like to have the beach feeling. You push the button and you only see, uh, from inside, you only see on the windows a beach, a beach scenario. And you're immediately happy, you get fully motivated to your office because you drove the last hours through a very nice beach area. And this is virtual reality and this is for sure part of it.